Hi guys, it's Ben here from T-Rex Space Station. How's everyone doing? And this is a bit of a sad question to ask really, but I want to get your opinion on this one guys. Is the gameplay video dead or dying? Now, the gameplay video was a really big part of why I started to come into the YouTube gaming community a few years ago. I started watching these videos by channels like Steve Benway and Lawn Boys Post 1975, where they would just do video game commentary, playing the game simply, relaxing and talking over it. And I really, really enjoyed this type of video and started to get hooked on watching these videos. Firstly, I think it's that nostalgia factor. It's like somebody else has liked this game and you may not want to necessarily play the game, but there's something refreshing about watching someone just playing it for you and showing you the game. And it kind of injected new life into old school video games because although I'd played the game a thousand times before, hearing someone's unique personality or the things that they pick up on or the jokes that they make or the approach that they take kind of gave a new angle to the game and refreshed my interest in it. You know, there were lots and lots of different channels that I used to watch, but I guess Steve Benway and Lawn Boys Post would be the big ones. And these are channels that made their name back in the day doing that kind of video. And I suppose that's one of the points is that possibly this kind of video was a lot bigger many years ago. And one of the issues that you have with it is that now the YouTube community has become very much saturated by gameplay videos. So maybe for those original channels who have big followings, it's fine for them to keep going. But for the smaller ones of us, maybe it's harder to make our way because people have kind of reached saturation point. Now, I was watching a video by Gebs recently. He was giving advice on how to go about getting a good YouTube channel, making interesting content. And she was kind of saying, you know, it's not 2000 anymore. We've kind of moved on from from the standard, bog standard gameplay video and that people expect more from the YouTube content in terms of how engaging you are and how you present yourself and how you make the content varied and snappy and grabs people's attention. And it got me thinking, you know, maybe the gameplay video has sort of had its day. In my personal experience on my channel, I can tell that when I do a straight up gameplay with commentary, people aren't really all that bothered. Maybe I'll get 30 views, 50 views if I'm lucky, but on the whole, people aren't very interested in just seeing gameplay anymore. And I guess it is kind of obvious that people do expect something more entertaining. Maybe it's because there's so much competition and we're quite crowded nowadays. I don't know, but it must be that people just want something that kind of stands above the parapet and does something a bit different. Gebs did give examples of channels that do gameplay videos and kind of how they manage to vary them. And she used the example of people like Jacksepticeye. But I've got to say, I feel like a lot of the modern way that new YouTube channels, really big ones are going is really not appealing to me. Actually, I, I really can't watch Jacksepticeye's videos because the kind of shouty style and the vying for attention and the constant jokes and the talking and the fast paced and all that kind of stuff, I just find it really overwhelming and off-putting and unrealistic. I think there's this kind of boundary between putting effort into your YouTube channel, which everyone should do, and going too far and being too eager to please and making the whole thing into a show. And while I think that we should be pushing to improve our channels, as Geb says, I don't want people to lose that kind of old school let's play video because that was something that I really loved. Some of the lower tech channels that I watch are actually my favorites. You know, there's a guy called the King of Shmups and I really love his videos and he literally sticks a video camera in front of his telly, puts on a game and talks about it. And the reason why those videos are so good is because it kind of feels like when you go around to your friend's house back in the day and you sit around and one person's playing a game and you're watching them and you're chatting and it feels real and it feels authentic. And it would be a real shame if people had to start pushing and pushing and changing their content to try and get attention. And in the process that we would lose those kinds of beautiful, relaxed, low tech videos because there's something endearing about them that I like. So I want to know your opinion guys. Are you youtubers who do gameplay videos? Do you find that people watch them? Are people interested? And do you actually watch them yourself? And the other aspect is what is it that makes a good let's play video for you? Are you happy with someone just playing the game and talking over it? Or do you demand something more? You know, do you want to see people playing the game, talking over it, plus showing their face and making lots of jokes and having sound effects and all these other things? Do you think that we need to be moving towards a higher tech gameplay video to keep the genre, to keep the style of video relevant? And do any of you feel bored by gameplay videos? Have you just watched way too many Let's Players? Have you come to a point of saturation and you're kind of thinking, actually, I'm not that bothered about watching anymore? What do you think? Is the gameplay video, is the Let's Play video dying out? And do you want to see less of it on my channel? Because if that's the case, I can stop doing so many. I guess the problem is that 
actually making gameplay videos is one of the reasons I got into YouTube and it's one of the things that I really enjoyed and of course over time I've evolved and learned to do opinion pieces and get in front of the camera and do pickups and things because that's what people want but part of me really enjoys making those simple gameplay videos and I guess I would think it's a shame if I thought that no one was really watching them. In terms of my personal opinion, actually, if I think about it long and hard, I don't really watch that many gameplay videos these days either. You know, I do watch things when the big channels release videos, channels that I've really loved for a long time, like Steve Benway, who I keep mentioning. Um, but as I said, maybe those channels are always going to have their market. I think it may well be that it's the new channels that have got to try something new now. Because people are always going to be thinking, well, I've got lots and lots of subscriptions. What are you going to do that's different? And maybe that's it for new channels to get established. It's got to have to be something more than just the gameplay with commentary. So let me know what you think, guys. Is it is it dying? Is it still alive? Should we fight for the Let's Play video? Do we need to try and make them more engaging? What do you think about it? Do you make them and do you watch them? That would be interesting to know as well. I'll also post a link to any of the channels that I've mentioned in the comments below. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.